different spot. Walk in. This place is crazy. Anyway. KGU. You can't take this guy anywhere, bro. You can't take this guy anywhere. Bro yelled, oh my God, they sell jellyfish here. And I was like, what the f*** are you saying? You can't eat those. He f***ing shows me. He goes, I've never been to a place like this. Look, they sell jellyfish. I said, bro, that says shellfish. And he goes, that makes sense, bro. That makes sense. Part of me wishes I didn't say anything and he ordered the jellyfish platter. <laughs> Part of me really wishes I didn't say a fucking word and I shut my ass up and he'd ordered that. You can eat jellyfish, but I ain't gonna. Yes, I know, Chappers. It's exciting. Um... But, bro, we're sitting there chilling, and he gets up and walked into the kitchen. Bro walked into the kitchen. Just got up. Gone for, like, three minutes. Not kidding. We're in, like, a crazy restaurant, bro. And everybody at the table was like, what is he doing? Comes back, and we go, you know that's the kitchen, right? Because we thought he was going to the bathroom, and we thought he just went the wrong way, and we were all laughing, making fun of him. And he goes, nonchalant as fuck, too. Nonchalant as fuck. He goes, yeah, I know. I was checking it out. He was like, it's cool as back there. There's upstairs and downstairs. I was just seeing what's up. Not even kidding. Straight up. And then, then we learned what this little fucker did. Then we learned what this little fucker did. Bro went to the back and told the chefs it was Chatty's birthday. <laughs> so we're sitting there hanging out and all of a sudden, bro, they come out with a fucking giant cake fucking slice with sparklers and shit. <laughs> bro, come out. It was like, happy birthday! And bro, I swear to God, Chatterbox went like this. <laughs> and everybody was like, ah, oh, happy birthday! <laughs> bro, it was funny as fuck, bro. Ain't nobody expected. Nobody knew, Allie. Nobody knew. Everybody was like, bro, what, is, what the f are you doing? You a real crackhead. Nah, he real as fuck for that. It was funny, bro. It was funny, man. Shit, it was funny. He really is a dad. He's the most outgoing dad I've ever met in my life. I low-key think Ratchet's like... Bro, he got like Benjamin Mutt Button disease, man. He's the biggest little kid I've ever met. He the biggest little kid... I've ever met in my life. I swear to God he is. Fuck, dude. He just wants to do silly stuff. He's, he come up to me. He goes, man, the, the, the convention isn't a, isn't like last year. I was like, what are you talking about? I was like, it's the fucking same thing every fucking year. He's like, nah, bro. Last year in Vegas was crazy. I'm running around, jumping in foam pits, fucking crawling on the floor, fucking hitting people with gladiator batons and shit jumping around. He was like, they don't got none of that here. I was like, bro, I just wanted to picture KGU by himself just crawling around in a foam pit. <laughs> goofball, bro. He's a freak, man. He's a fucking freak. Yeah, we first night he walks up, he's like, yeah, I don't drink. I'm thirsty. He goes, can you Uber Pepsi? And everybody's like, like DoorDash? And he's like, what? We're like, there's no way. Like, don't you order food all the time? He's like, I don't know how to do this shit. It was like, Rack, can you please Uber me a 12-pack of Pepsi? I don't know what I'm doing.
Bro, I don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah, if someone broke their back in the foam pit, yeah. He's such a fucking goofball, bro. <laughs> 